Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great used Class C motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Just got in another Coachman Leprechaun, guys. I do very, very well with these. Uh, they're definitely one of Coachman's more upper-level Class Cs. And uh, this is a nice one. It's got 35,000 miles. It is a Forest River Coachman Leprechaun 260 RS. Has one slide in the back corner with a queen bed in it. It's only 27 feet, five inches long. So this is a medium sized class C, not too big, not too small, big enough to get your queen island bed, a separate sofa and a separate table booth as well as your cab over bed, but still not having to drive around something 31, 32, 33 feet long. So like I said, it's just kind of the, a good mixture of both. Uh, got the uh, HD Max tinted fiberglass, which is pretty much full body paint on a Class C. Uh, got a patio awning. Got a 4KW generator on and running right now with just turned 100 hours. Literally while I've been out here messing around with it. LED lights, tail lights, and marker lights. Got one power slide out with awning topper. Got the motor home running, got the generator running, dash air is cold, roof air is cold. Nice coachman, guys. Tires look great. Built on a E350 chassis, has a trailer hitch, 5,000 pound tow capacity, and a 305 horsepower Triton V10 under the hood. So, guys, 27 foot motorhome with a V10, this thing will fly for an RV. I mean, it'll go way faster and you'd probably want to safely take a vehicle this size and get there pretty quick too. For at least for a 27 and a half foot box on wheels, it'll get there pretty quick. Got some pretty good outside stores. Let's look inside. And I haven't had this thing on half an hour, maybe a little over half an hour. So, but it's done a fantastic job cooling it off considering the heat index is 104 right now. Yes, guys, 104 degree heat index in Northwest Georgia. It's warm to say the least. All right, guys, let's step inside, point out some nice features and benefits of this Leprechaun. Uh, it does have the full to queen size bed. It's in between full and queen size on, in the cab over. TV on a swivel mount so you can see it from multiple positions in the motorhome. Front cab, seats look great, look like 35,000 mile seats should look like. It's got a backup camera that works great, got a navigation screen built into your uh, touchscreen stereo, Bluetooth of course, dash air is cold and believe me guys I got it on full right now trying to keep this thing cool because it was uh, about 125 degrees in here when I walked in here about half an hour ago and it's you know it's probably dropped i'd say we're probably 85 right now and it'll probably get down there pretty good if i left it on for another hour or two it takes these things a little bit to cool off when it's this hot outside does have a table booth that makes a bed and this is pretty cool this sofa over here is actually a second convertible table booth and I can't do it on video, it takes two hands. But basically guys, you remove the back cushion, you remove these two cushions right here in the middle, and this just picks up, and that's a second small um, table booth, which would be good for a couple of kids. You know, if you're, if you're camping with a couple of kids, um, you'll like that. And then of course, you're probably gonna leave it on the sofa most of the time. Now, it just makes a single sleeper because of that it doesn't fold out so you can always sleep one person on this sofa so one here two up top two here two in the back still carry uh three four five six seven people in here and trust me guys that's plenty in a 27 foot and a half foot motor home uh one thing i like to point out about the coaching since i've got a well soon to be four year old little girl myself it does have the tether for the actual car seat most motor even though i get crucified for this saying this but i did extensive research before i bought mine most motor homes are not designed to safely haul kids in car seats i said it guys 
I'm the only person on RV, uh, on, on YouTube that will ever say that because it's the truth. Because most of them just want to sell you an RV, but I, I care more about kids' safety than I do about selling an RV. Most RVs are not designed to safely haul a kid in a car seat. This one is. You can put one car seat right there. You know, all car seats have to be forward facing. That's why I went from a 38 foot motorhome myself to a 25 foot because I found a class B plus class C with, with a second set of captain, forward facing captain's chairs attached to the frame that were not in the slide out. And no guys, it's not a safe place for a car seat, anything in a slide out because it's not attached directly to the frame. And um, I know there's a lot of confusion on that, guys, on the internet. A lot of people getting conflicting stories. Oh, it's fine. No, it's not. Guys, I, you know what? Um, back when I had my 38-foot Class A, my wife followed us in her car every time we took it somewhere. Was it inconvenient? Yes. My little girl's safety is worth all the inconvenience in the world to me. You know, I do recommend doing what's right for your kids, not what's convenient for the parents. So remember that, guys. Very few RVs out there are set up for car seats. Um, and y'all can always email me if you've got questions about that, guys. I, I did extensive research, contacted a lot of people. Um, Bo at ParkwayRVCenter.com. Not in sales. I'm just doing the I'm doing the reviewing and the advertising. But I can't sell you this RV. But if you've got questions about kids and car seats in RVs. Let me know and I'll tell you my spiel about it and what I've learned from my extensive research. Anyway, back to the video tour. Um, you know, this is pretty nice. You've got a decent sized kitchen right here, double basin sink. The lower that air feels good. Three burner stove top doesn't look like it's been used. Greystone microwave. Um, Nice tall roof too. It's about a six foot ten roof height back here. Um, you've got a six cubic foot Dometic RV refrigerator freezer now. It's only been on thirty minutes. We guarantee this to work. So I, I, it's getting late in the day. I don't have time to let this thing sit out here and run for another hour, hour and a half to see if the freezer starts getting cold before the refrigerator. But based on the condition of the rest of the RV, I'm going to say it's good. But like I said, I'm, I'm I, you know, we, we, I'm leaving here in about an hour, so I don't have a lot of time to sit here and wait. Um, this is this is a slide out. Now, guys, when this slide out comes in, this bed is not usable. You have to fold the mattress over and then bring the room in. So don't expect to have a queen bed in your RV when you're driving down the road for your passengers that have to sleep in the table booth, the couch, or the cab over bed. And then please follow all proper safety precautions about riding an RV. You know, some states are different than others. Like in Georgia, for example, um, only people required to wear seat belts in Georgia, besides kids, uh, you know, is anybody, anybody sitting in the front seat. If you're over 18 years old and you're not sitting in the front seat in Georgia, no matter what kind of vehicle you're, you're in, you are not required by law to be buckled up. Now, every state's different, so please check your state's regulations. Um, do I recommend staying buckled up? Of course, guys. Better safe than sorry. There's there's seat belts under the seat cushions in the table booth and this sofa slash mini table booth right here as well. So, but like I said, guys, everybody's an adult. You have you can make your own choice about where to wear a seat belt or not wear a seat belt. Just like everything else in life right now, everybody's got a choice. Uh, big closet right here. Uh, you have a, actually it's a big TV for a bedroom TV. That's at least a 32 inch, maybe even a closer to a 40. I like that little corner cabinet right there. That's kind of nice. You got USB hookups, it looks like over here. Uh, 12 volt hookups, excuse me. You can put a USB charger in here. Individual reading lamps, got some overhead storage. Decent sized bathroom. You have a stand up shower. Yeah, there's no smoke or pet odors in here, no signs of water damage. Um, 
got uh, that faux marble plastic surround to protect your walls. This is all Asdell panels too, inside and out. So you really don't have to worry about water, uh, retaining a lot of water. Uh, it does have a porcelain RV toilet. Fantastic vent fan. You know, it is a Leprechaun. So they load these things out pretty good. Some more corner storage. One hump right here as you walk into the bedroom. And I always watch these because I busted my butt one time on one of these. So I've always, you know, it's something you only do one time, then you always look for it. So you got one little step up, that's for the extra outside storage on the outside. Um, not bad. It's a nice unit, guys, and I like the size of it, too. You know, one thing I've learned, because I've gone from a 38-foot to a 25-foot motorhome, is I enjoy it. You know, I, and, and my wife still kind of, and because she got used to having that 38 foot double slide but i like it guys um i like it because you carry so much crap with you when you're RVing. literally guys we've had my motorhome for several years and i can't tell you the amount of stuff i unloaded out of that motorhome when i sold it that i put in it and been sitting in there for years and i never used it i like the minimalist approach to RVing. Now that's my version of RVing. You know, you might be one of those that likes the glamping, you like all your toys, you like all the storage, that's fine. Your way is no different than mine. It's just that we, everybody, that's what I love about RVing, guys. Everybody has their own opinion about what they consider RVing to be. You know, a lot of people, they they rough it in pop-ups and hybrids and slide-in truck campers and don't care if they have power, electricity, air conditioning, running water, bathroom, or none of that. A lot of people, they like the big buses with the four or five slide outs and washer and dryer and marble floors and Corian countertops and leather furniture and heated this and massaging that. That's fine, guys. That's what you like to do. That's that's your version of RVing. There's nothing wrong with that. It's all the same, guys. You know, a lot of people want 70-inch television screens and huge recliners just like you have in your own house that that's what you're into then by all means do it guys i have my version of rving you have yours and the next person has theirs of what they consider rving to be and what they enjoy most and that's what i love about rvs because there's so many different types to try to suit everybody's version of what they want in an rv and uh it can be a towable it can be a drivable a fifth wheel travel trailer class a b c gas diesel whatever Whatever you're into and whatever your budget is and what you're wanting to do with it, guys, there's options out there for you. We have quite a few of them here. We got about 85 units on the lot right now. We're selling them like crazy, but I think we've already sold 12 since Monday morning. What is today, Wednesday? Um, yeah, so we're, we're selling these things fast, but we're, we've actually gotten some really good connections. A lot of these coming in, a lot of them uh, are selling fast, guys. A lot of those I did videos on last week, two or three of them's already sold or have deposits on them. And this week, too. Um, so keep in mind, guys, got a great inventory. I've got something other RV dealers would give their left leg for and probably more than that, uh, and that's used inventory. That's something hardly anybody else in the country has right now. I do. Large selection of inventory, Class Cs, Class As, Bs, travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers a little bit of everything so anyway this particular one is 59.9 for a 2016 coachman leprechaun 260 uh, rs and it 35,000 miles 100 hours on generator great shape if this set me you think you're interested in pick up the phone give us a call 706-965-7929 um sleeps the family can sleep up to seven so you know even if you just have one or two kids everybody can have their own bed and they can bring friends with them and um this is a perfect size for state parks older campgrounds you can't accommodate a bigger coach this is something you can drive for even for day trips guys i mean this is such an easy size to drive um at least compared to what i'm used to to me, guys, anything under 30 feet is about like 
an, an average person driving a four-door sedan it's just it's just easy to drive i've been i've grown up driving these big buses and hauling these big fifth wheels and you know and even through my 20s when i was doing transporting i it wasn't nothing for me to jump in a dually truck and drive a 40 something foot fifth wheel uh 1500 miles without stopping except for fuel and uh catch a few hours sleep jump back in the truck and drive back couldn't do it now i'm in my 40s but back then guys i heck I, it wasn't up for me to stay awake 24 hours i don't recommend that now but um and looking back it's probably pretty dumb of me to drive that far and i don't and i tell people guys if you're used to driving long distances still even now guys i won't hardly drive over eight hours without stopping and resting um, no matter what i'm driving whether it's a car van or a rv or whatever um got uh, too much precious cargo with me most of the time i don't want to take that chance and plus endanger somebody else so but you know what we all did stuff when we was younger we look back how in the world did i survive that <laughs> how am i still here <laughs> i think that's something everybody in america can say <laughs> it's <laughs> I, you know what it's just part of it um some of us a lot worse than others obviously I do like to get a little privacy curtain right there to separate the bedroom from the rest of the RV. 59.9 haggle free firm. Uh, we do guarantee your major systems to work, your generator, your slide out, refrigerator, freezer, and your roof air conditioner, which everything works except so far, except the refrigerator. And I'm sure it's fine. It just takes these things, especially when it's 100 degrees outside. It, it's actually working, guys. I feel it cooling off here on the back pretty noticeably so i'm 99 percent certain this thing right here is going to get to operating temp now i could be wrong there's that one percent chance but what you do guys is before you come down if you're coming to look at this particular one call make an appointment with the salesperson try to give us 24 hour notice we'll either hook the generator or run the generator hook it to shore power turn the fridge on the night before so it has time to get to operating temp and uh you can see that it works and then do your own inspection as well on everything else you want to look at um but yeah guys thank y'all for watching i really appreciate it uh check out the 16 leprechaun 260 rs while it lasts on my website parkwayrbcenter.com always best to call for faster service 706-965-7929 if you got any questions if you like that if you like a class c you want to spend a little bit less money i've got options for you go to my website parkwayrvcenter.com um i've got a variety of price ranges and i've got probably 15 class c's in stock used right now i uh, just got another diesel in just about an hour or two ago and got some about three class b's out two or three class b's i'll have to look and see uh which nobody has even one of those hardly and i've got um i i'm gonna say probably 25 to 30 class a's gas and diesel as well as a slew of travel trailers fifth wheels and more i may not have everything posted online i've been working really hard to get that done um because in this heat i mean there's only so much you can do um you know right now it's gonna be hard for me to shoot travel trailers and fifth wheels unless i can run power to them to run the ac because it, it's it's you know you can look in one for a few minutes but that's about all you can stand in one of these when it's this hot outside it's um and believe me guys i've had to call ambulances before on customers and employees in this kind of heat so be careful if you come out here and look stay hydrated take breaks in the air conditioning uh you know come and go in your car leave your car running with the ac on or come in the showroom and sit down just take breaks in this kind of heat guys I, I i i get on to my employees about it and i'm gonna get on to the customers too um like i said i've had to call an ambulance more than once for customers and employees because of heat stroke so especially if you're from up north you're not used to this heat and humidity like we have down here in the south it can be a culture shock just like it would be for me if I went up north for the winter time and the coldest part of the year, I'd probably be a lot colder than somebody that was from there would be. So, uh, anyway, guys, thank y'all again for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to smash me a thumbs up. 
comment, share on social media, more interaction to give my channel, uh, the more YouTube promotes it and shares it and it helps support it. Uh, subscribe, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification button. It's free to you and you get notifications every time I post a video. I'm different. Obviously, I'm different than these other guys reviewing RVs on YouTube because A, main thing is I actually show you used RVs and B, I show you the price. One of the most simplest and, and, and easiest things to show on an RV is the price. Why is everybody so scared of it? Blows me away, guys. I have no fees. You buy from Parkway RV Center, there's no dock fees, no prep fees, no processing fees, uh, no uh, get ready fees, there's no uh, happy camper fees or whatever name they want to call it. They're all 100% dealer profit, guys. Applic the only thing we charge is applicable sales tax, and if you are a Georgia resident, the state says I have to charge a $100 highway impact fee and a $40 to $50 tag and title fee, which both go directly to the state. Um, I make no money on those fees, and that's something other dealers can't say. They, they'll they advertise a certain price, but they disguise, but they sell it for more by disguising the profit in the form of fees. It'd be like me advertising this for $49.9 and then charging $10,000 in fees plus sales tax. I'm right back to where I'm at now, and that's, that's the big dealer mentality and the big dealer thinking, all right, let's advertise a lower price, but make that customer pay several thousand dollars in fees it's all profit to us, and it makes it look better on our advertising. So, uh, not to mention the upsells, and they mark the interest rate up on financing, and all these other things that we don't do. Guys, if you finance with an RV dealership's finance department, you're overpaying by thousands. I can pretty much guarantee it. Um, because what they're doing, they deal directly with the bank, not you. They, the bank's telling them the actual rate, dealer's marking that rate up and charging you uh, it, which over the life of an RV loan is costing you thousands and thousands of dollars in higher RV payments when you add it all together. And um, and then they're adding up sales and everything else. So you can kind of see how they get you. It's nothing for them to overcharge a customer by seven or $8,000 on financing on this amount of money. It's very easy to do. And all they got to do is mark that interest rate up a percent or percent and a half over what the bank approved you for. And you have no idea they're doing that since you're not dealing directly with the bank the dealer is. Dealer does nothing without profit involved. Remember that, especially the big corporate dealers like Rip Off World, places like that. You, in other words, you, you go into Rip Off World or some of these other places with an RV price $59.9, you call the next day, you owe $80,000 plus on it. And all you can do is scratch your head. How did I get there? They're good, guys. They're professionals. They do this multiple times a day to multiple people. So uh, keep that in mind. No matter how good you are, I've seen Rip Off World nail the slickest negotiators and slickest people you've ever seen. So we'll always read your paperwork, never get in a hurry to sign. Um, if they try to rush you up, then tell them you're just going to leave. Don't let them rush you guys. That's how they get you. You know, that, and that's another tactic they use too. You ever notice how you go to like, these high pressure car dealerships and RV dealerships that it takes you hours and hours and hours to do your sorry about that guys I had to do a battery swap and this is something they taught me when I worked at Rip Off World guys uh, you ever notice how they drag the process out as long as possible that's because psychologically an impatient customer is a customer less likely to say no because they are, they, they've been there they're impatient dragging it dragging it dragging it they're going to say yes they're going to sign paperwork without reading it just to get the experience over with. And that's something they actually taught us when I worked there years and years ago that impatient customers will say no less than a patient customer will or one that's not to that point. So that, that that's always what they do, guys. It, it literally only takes, like you come here to buy, especially if you've got your financing worked out. Guys, it don't take 30 minutes to do your paperwork at most and usually half that time. In other words, you come in here with a cashier's check, you want to buy one, you just say yes, give us a copy of your driver's license, and we can have you ready to go in 15 minutes as far as paperwork's concerned. Over there, like I said, they drag it out and drag it out so they can negotiate a better deal and make you sign stuff you wouldn't normally sign. Read the fine print is the best advice I can give you guys. You'd be surprised at stuff they try to sneak in on you. 
But anyway, guys, I'm, I'm telling you something that so many people of you have found out the hard way, and that's not just rip off world, it's other corporate RV dealerships too. You know, a rule my grandfather always taught me was, and because he started this place back in 1968, and even back then, it's as true then as it is now, big dealers don't get big by giving people fair deals on RVs. Remember that. Big dealers do not get big by giving people fair deals on RVs. I learned that the hard way in my early 20s, and it's something now in my 40s that I have stuck with me and saved my butt more times than I can count. So, anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Don't forget we have financing and delivery available, financing with approved credit only. Um, again, 706-965-7929. Thank you again for watching. We take trade-ins and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia.